Hey guys, it's Joe with PocketNow.com. I'm on location with my Galaxy Nexus GSM variety. It's running Cyanogen Mod 10 nightly, and of course that means it's rooted, and uh, I can go ahead and do whatever I want with it. In this case, I've been able to pull down the camera slash gallery app from Android 4.2, the new flavor of Jelly Bean, which explains why I have two camera icons. Let's go ahead and fire it up. It opens up pretty quick. You can see it's a lot cleaner, it occupies the entire screen, and if I want to get into settings, I just tap somewhere and go. Uh, it's kind of hard to, to do that, because when you want something, your thumb's over the top of it, so you don't know exactly what you're on until you move off of it. So UI might, might be a little bit confusing or hard to use, but we'll see how that works out. Taking pictures is super fast. You can focus, nice little focus animation. But I know what you guys want to see is the new panorama mode. We've got our camera, our video camera, the traditional panorama, which is still there, and then that new one, Photosphere. Let's go ahead and fire that up. This lets you take fully immersive photos, and it's really kind of cool and quick. So you can see I've got an aperture here with a, a little target and a blue dot. It wants me to align that to start. I'm going to do this kind of quick to show you how fast you can do it. It aligns, and then we just walk around in this circle. Not touching the screen, not touching anything, it does it all for me. And this part can get a little tedious because obviously it's a lot of pictures to make this whole sphere go up a little bit. And you can go somewhat quickly. It's hard balancing two cameras and, and doing this at the same time though. Once you go up in the air, obviously, the number of pictures to complete the sphere reduces. And when we come back down to the ground, see if I can keep this in frame, kind of does the same thing there as well. Once you know where that track line is, you can go somewhat fast. And of course, you don't have to take the entire sphere. You can take just a, a section of it, you know, like a, a full 360 degree in one dimension horizontal panorama you could do. But there, I've gone ahead and taken everything. I'm going to hit the blue stop button, and it's going to start rendering that now. So if I swipe over here, you can see I've got this little blank rendering panorama thing. Here's that picture that I just took, and a couple of the panoramas that I took earlier. So we can go in and do all kinds of cool stuff with that. I'm going to give you a link to where you can see some of these over at pocketnow.com. I'm also going to show you the files that you need with links and walk you through the, the process so you can get this up and running on your own rooted Jelly Bean 4.1 point something phone. If you like what you saw, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up. For Pocket Now, I'm Joe Levi. Thanks for watching.